Should you offer a course or coaching first? Now, this may be a question you're asking if you are a coach that's looking to create your offer to sell. And both formats are really valuable and both can create tremendous impact for your clients. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some considerations that you'll want to take in your decision to offer a course or coaching first and help you to feel confident in taking the next steps. Thank you so very much for joining me today. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. I'm Lydia Lee and I help budding entrepreneurs to create their dream business without the complicated strategies, overthinking and self doubt. So if you're looking to build a business that you love, that's specifically designed from your strengths, your values and your personality, you are in the right place and be sure to hit the subscribe and the notification bell button to tune in for videos just like this one. All right, before we dive into whether or not you should be offering a course or a coaching offer, I want to just kind of give you a bit of a rundown in terms of what is the difference between a course and a coaching offer? Well, courses are usually what you see out there that is self-guided. It could be something that you pre-record and pre-make ahead of time. And then you enroll students into that course. And usually it's something that could be a passive product. Uh, it could be something that can be signed up at any time. And it doesn't require your particular one-on-one -on -one efforts to be able to run the course. However, there are hybrid courses as well. So one of the courses that I um, run and host and launch every year is called the 90 day launch program. And that is a hybrid of a course and a coaching format. And so in a lot of ways, you can choose to adapt a course from a passive self-guided DIY style format into some hands, hands on combinations of coaching, group coaching, and so forth. So know that if you want to get creative to kind of combine, um, how you want to create a course that's, that can give more intimacy and personalization to your students, you can do that. And so these might be some considerations you want to be thinking about at this point. Now, a coaching offer is traditionally one-on-one. -on -one right? You have a client that you work with. It could be a short-term uh, experience. It could be a long-term experience. And typically coaching offers can run anywhere between three to six months and up to a year or even longer, depending on your niche and your industry and also the scope of work, right? That you choose to be uh, giving as a service to your clients. And with coaching, right? Most of the time, this is going to be really personalized and intimate and very, very hands-on and high touch. So you will likely charge higher for a coaching offer because uh, your clients are getting your undivided attention and, you know, your full attention to the problem that you'll be solving for them. So typically they're priced in a higher tier pricing um, structure. Now, of course, again, with coaching, you can also choose particularly to include some creative ways that you could coach, uh, and you can combine that, uh, with a course if you wish. Uh, but I would typically, um, decide on one or the other, uh, when you first start a business so that you can actually really build upon the momentum and start to refine what your structure should look like, what your framework should look like before you start to get too creative in building, you know, the hybrid versions of a course or a coaching offer. So should you be offering coaching first or a course? Well, in my experience in doing both and also supporting hundreds of people to launch, to launch the first coaching offer, the easiest way to get started is offering coaching first, because this will actually help you to build your course in the near future. Now, I know it sounds really sexy and lucrative when people out there are telling you that you could be making money while you sleep with a course and you only have to do work once and a bunch of students will come to your doorstep. And this sounds really romantic <laughs> and really something that all of us really want. But as a new business, and as a new coach, a huge part of your priorities in the first year to two years and even more is to really build up your capacity and your credibility to be able to do the work that you're hired to do and provide outcomes that people can trust. And if you haven't worked one on one with clients before, it's really hard to identify what is the thing that you offer? How do you really transform people's lives? And what are the structures, the process, the framework that you're really designing that's really unique to the way that you solve a problem, 
right? So when you are thinking about building a course for the first time, very likely you might be feeling a little fuzzy in what it is that you might have to teach these people if you're not there uh, in front of them to guide them through that work one-on-one, right? So if you're thinking about doing a course, very likely you're going to need modules. You're going to need to be able to lead people in a sequential logical order in how to complete that course and receive the outcomes that they come, they came for. Right. And so if you're finding yourself guessing, what should I be teaching? What's important and valuable for people to learn in order to receive the outcomes that I want to provide for them? Um, you're very likely you know, in the space of needing to work with more people instead of building your course. Now, why one-on-one -on -one coaching is kind of your best bet in, first of all, getting a business up and going, getting your clients first, and then using that experience to build your course is because you don't have to build any assets if you were just to offer coaching first, right? You can take on people right away and be able to tailor and create bespoke coaching packages for your clients. And in that learning process with working with different people and different one-on-one -on -one clients, it's going to help you see and identify what are some common problems, common questions, common steps that you are really pretty much repeating yourself all the time. And that helps you to understand what it is that you will want to put into the curriculum of your course because you've got evidence, you've got social proof, right? That these people actually need these steps based based on your one-on-one -on -one work, and that's going to help you to feel a lot more confident in building your course. Secondarily, when people buy your course in the future, they'll want to know that you have credibility and that you have helped people in the past. And so the testimonials from your first coaching clients, the one-on-one -on -one clients, will again help you to build credibility for when you sell your course. And lastly, the coaching you know, first will help you to get clients a lot faster than just building your course because people are looking for valuable deep diving help, right? Um, and in order for you to know how to help and be a good coach and be deepening your mastery in coaching, it really requires you to work with people hands on. You know, courses can be quite passive when people don't get something, you'll know, you won't know about it because you're not there in front of them to help guide them through some of the problems that they need while they go through that information. Right. But with coaching, you're right there. You can help, you can personalize it. It just gives people such an amazing experience and the likelihood of you causing a transformation, you know, for you helping them reach results by the time they're finished with you is going to be a lot more, um, realistic and tangible for you than thinking that you need to guess on the modules in your course and hope that people get something out of it. Okay. So if you are wondering, what should I be coaching on? What is the framework Lydia speaks about, right? That is my process, my unique approach, and how can I sell my expertise? How do I package what I do into a course or into a coaching offer? Um, do check out my signature program called 90 Day Launch Academy, where I walk you through the six phases of uh, going from fuzzy idea to building a meaningful business that includes your offer, offer creation and your value creation, which is your offer. So check that out if you need some support with community and mentorship to get you started. So when do you know you are ready for a course? Well, like I said, when you've worked with enough people and you get to see the common problems you need to solve and the common questions and steps people need to take, and you've got enough data pool working with one-on-one -on -one people and you feel confident that whenever you take on a client, this is the process, this is the framework, this is the journey that is my unique approach that I can sell in a course, right? That's when you can be ready to start creating the modules, start creating that structure for how you might want to guide people in a course format. Another um, way to know that you are ready for a course is that you've got some excellent testimonials. You've worked with enough people that are giving you great feedback and letting you know you have changed their lives. You have helped them to achieve certain results that you've promised and you really feel confident about your process for people to get similar results in something like a course. And lastly, you have created a framework and a process that can be used in your course to guide students 
students without you being there. And you're going to know what kind of videos to film, what kind of templates to create, what is the course workload and the experience, that learning experience that you need to design when people aren't working with you one-on-one -on -one and are doing it through a course is clear enough, is confident enough for you to be able to um, deliver, you know, your brilliance and deliver results in a course format. Now, do you have any questions for me? If you do, I check the comments personally myself. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what you uh, took away from this video. If you have any questions about whether to offer a coaching offer or a course, let me know. Uh, and I can't wait um, to answer you back and help you and support you to take the next steps more confidently. Thank you so much for coming on to this video and spending some time with me. Uh, and I will see you very soon. Thank you.